Welcome to KPI Fire. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a strategic initiative or goal. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the compass icon, which takes you to the strategic dashboard. From here, you can click on Enable Edit Mode. If you've been designated as a manager or administrator for KPI Fire, you'll be able to enter the edit screen. From here, you'll see a gray tile that says Create New Initiative. Click there and give your new initiative a name. Click Create and you'll see that a dark blue tile has been created at the highest level of your company's strategic goals. Click Leave Edit Mode. Scroll down and you'll see that your new initiative is at the bottom of the Level 1 Strategic Goals. Once you've created a strategic initiative or goal, you can enter the Expanded View by clicking the icon on the top right. Inside the Expanded View you'll see several areas. On the left is the Data Summary area, the Month-by-Month -month Performance area, the Supporting Metrics, and the Supporting Projects. You can change which view you're looking at by clicking on the icons above. In this case, I'm looking at the Annual Performance. I can also look at Quarter-by-Quarter -quarter Performance, and I can look at the percent complete of any supporting projects associated with this initiative. As you can see, 16% of the work that needs to be done on these supporting projects has been completed. I can also look at the month-by-month -month view and populate the data from here. I click on the Data tab. Our employee morale metric is a survey that we receive on a monthly basis on a scale of 1 to 10. Because our goal is to improve the employee morale metric from its current status of a 6 to our long-term goal of a 10, we will enter the month-by-month -month numbers here. At the top, we will choose the target data mode as opposed to the sum data mode because the employee morale survey numbers are discrete numbers on a scale of 1 to 10. If this were a revenue or a cost metric, I would hit the sum button, which would, instead of showing the actual values month by month, would sum the data, giving you a clearer picture on how your data is summing up year to date. You can change the goal type to less than or greater than, depending on whether this is a metric that you want to be greater than or less than your target value. This is similar to golf and baseball. In baseball you want a higher score so your goal type would be greater than. In golf your goal is to get a low score so you would click the less than button. You can also change the units for your strategic goal from dollars to a simple number to a percentage or ratio. One of the most important things you'll want to do with a strategic goal is to lay out an action plan. KPI Fire makes this very simple by giving you four boxes for each of the four quarters of your calendar or fiscal year. In quarter one, you put together an action plan and assign an owner. Creating an action plan in KPI Fire makes it easy for everyone in the organization to see exactly what they're supposed to do on a quarter by quarter basis and also see if what they're doing is having an impact on the strategic initiative or the KPI that it's linked to. The last thing you may want to do is to link one of your supporting metrics directly to your initiative. In this example, the Employee Morale Initiative is directly linked to the Employee Satisfaction Survey. In that case, we can click on the Employee Satisfaction metric, and as you can see, it will automatically link any projects that are associated with the Employee Satisfaction metric. It will also change our data. So our month-by-month -month view is now being populated with the same data that is populating our employee satisfaction metric. In many cases, strategic initiatives and goals are tied directly to metrics. In those situations, it makes sense to link them directly. In other situations, you may have an initiative or goal that is tied to many metrics, and it doesn't make sense to link it directly to just one. In that case, you'll just unselect any of the supporting metrics, and you can populate your data for that strategic initiative directly into this screen. Remember, in KPI Fire, there are three ways to populate your charts and graphs. You can enter your data manually, or you can link it to a spreadsheet or to one of your existing databases using our API. With KPI Fire, managing your metrics and goals is easy. You can easily link your projects and metrics to your strategic initiatives and keep track of them throughout the year. 
To learn more about how KPI Fire can help you ignite your business, sign up for a free trial and don't forget to watch our other tutorials.